Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Alan at AM Details here and in this live session I'm hanging out with my man here, the main man, Dan Fijian is the guy behind everything. The pictures, the videos, the editing, the advice. In fact, if I think back, Daniel, you might be the reason AM Details is on YouTube. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I see. I came up with a crazy idea that this man would be fantastic on YouTube and it, it's worked. So yes. yeah, it's brilliant. So guys, we're here to hang out with you all for about one hour, bear with us. There's lots of stuff going on on this screen. It is Dan's first time live, and I am still trying to frame myself yeah. without blocking Daniel. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I need to, I'm not used to sharing this space with people. And I'm so, used to <laughs> editing my footage rather than going live. So this is very different for me. So what's so, going to be super yeah. cool is we're literally going to relax, hang out with you for about an hour, chat about how we go from camera to what the transition There's happens. A couple of good questions to, coming in already. Oh, amazing. That. So, and then yeah. to the editing software part yeah. and onto YouTube, the stuff we use, what's going on, and all you epic guys over there. Dan's still getting used to looking uh, at this. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, all them guys. Yeah. We're going to then read through your questions and call them out live. So do keep them coming. We can scroll up and down and uh, and see what's going on next. So this man, Dan's getting blown by all the questions this, that are coming in. Yeah, apparently uh, I look like Richard. That's what I've just seen a comment pop up. Oh, nice. Right, Richard, you need to email us a picture well, yeah. or take a picture on Instagram and at us at amdetails at uh, you dan.fusion or you dan.fusion as a winner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Yeah, Dan, people are. This people is are why this Dan up. can't do live feeds. No, I'm going to get rid of the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan is like what Alfred is to Batman to you, Alan. Oh, so nice. I'm like, I'm Good like, oh, Alfred. That's nice. cool. That's cool. Uh, okay. You're saying he's old? I'm, I'm, I'm. No, you're older than oh, me. Oh wait, you made my good. tea and coffee as well. Yeah, I did earlier. Yeah. Oh, sad times. <laughs> right, guys. So. Uh, me and Dan were actually chatting, like, how did we meet back in the day? Yeah. And we do believe it would have been through the whole Driftland and be through uh, our friend Johnny. It was Johnny, yeah. It was Johnny's uh, house. Was up, and then mm -hmm. I suppose somewhere in the mix there, there would be the whole drifting world thing. Yeah. And we found each other, did pictures, vids. Yeah, I think I stumbled it. across the brand at Driftland, of all places, because um, I was visiting Scotland a lot because I was working with Johnny at State Era and the on a few projects and stuff like that and then i met alan and i thought this is a brand that is hidden away in elgin it needs to be seen and i was thinking how can i help with that basically yeah uh so yeah the idea i mean i love creating content and taking pictures and doing a bit of video and this was like the perfect opportunity to have like a blank canvas I think so. like someone who was willing and receptive to all the ideas that i could come up with and be like, you should go live on YouTube, <laughs> and you should like talk about everything and anything. So, the man's taking it up, and and I think AM Details is all the better for it. Yeah, here so, we are. So, yeah. guys, literally, I talk about him, and I try to thank him so much in the YouTube videos because you guys watch us, and I think it's amazing when you turn and say, Alan, how do you do it? And yes, we put the hours in, we put the time in, but. I always want to get Dan on the front here so much. I deliberately try and plug it in the edits, and sometimes he doesn't even plug himself because the no. guy is so modest. No. So, guys, give him the biggest <laughs> high five from all the AMD crew for this man. So, yeah, I think we were doing Instagram jazz first. And as I tell you guys in all the stories, I was doing like the Instagram wheelie stools, Instagram little. I think I set alarms and I did three Instagram posts every day. Mm -hmm. And then Dan literally said, those little Instagram posts, if you were to send them to me every day, I would put them together into a vlog. Yeah. And then we created vlog number one, which was literally the world's longest time yeah. lapse of a Discovery Sport being washed. And there was you building a table. And then me building a table. Yeah, a table. Yeah, and I was like, right, well, well you know, we'll, 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 we'll use what we've got. That was like, uh, but we'll build on that. Yeah. And we had and, something. And guys, you have to remember, for the both of us, like mm. Dan had very limited... Yeah what mind me saying, very limited mm. video editing skills. He'd done his own stuff, which incredibly, if back in the day you'd monetize it, you'd probably be a millionaire, right, for some of the stuff he did back then. Maybe, I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it would be nice, that yeah. would be nice. And then yeah. together, I'm sure, as you guys have seen with the channel, um, both of our skills have grown. I can now yeah. do a, a little bit of editing, not as yeah, much as this do. guy. Yeah, you do, yeah. And then Dan can do the editing, and we also do the video. We are loving this. Guys, this looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to interact with you all. Yeah. We'll probably come and have a chat with you in a couple of minutes. I need to scroll up. So we've been on 14 minutes already, but that would have been the initial bit. So we're roughly about four minutes in already. And we're going to be here for an hour, guys, um, hanging out with you, answering these questions, and kind of telling our story. So mm -hmm. originally, we started with the, that's right, we started with the Galaxy Samsung S6. And I filmed everything on that. And the biggest yeah. problem we had was getting the files from the camera to the computer oh yeah and then to you then so to i me, think yeah. in the end when we're doing it on cable because i had an apple mac it wasn't talking with each other 
Um, so we used Dropbox. I yeah, we used Dropbox originally. Yeah. So every video I took in the unit, uploaded to Dropbox to a shared folder. Then I would try and organize that shared folder mm -hmm. and send it to Dan, but it didn't bring over any of the time stamping. No, so no, what no. Dan ended up with was a mess. Yeah, it was pretty chaotic. I mean, but my, my plan to begin with and what I was trying to encourage Alan to start with, and this is to any one of you that wants to start filming, was literally to start filming. Um, so he said to me, I haven't got a camera to do that. And I said, I don't care. Just use your phone. Uh, your phone is a great place to start. You are used to it. You can use it. It's part of your daily life. Just start filming with it. And I think that was the most important thing. So I dealt with the issues of, I don't know what any of these files are when they came over to me because I felt like as long as he's filming, we're going to have something and we can make something. Mm -hmm. um, so it didn't really matter, even though it was a mess. Oh, it was an absolute <laughs> mess. A ridiculous mess. Like uh, When you guys see the original vlogs, and it's the reason I post them up and I am so proud of them for yeah. what me and Dan managed to make with them because literally, guys, we did the filming and I would drag and drop it to Dan with an apology that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much actually yeah that was that a pre became, a pre yeah. sorry sorry guys this has happened yeah um really, really yeah, sorry. Was, there was a lot of that, but actually that brings back memories yeah sorry about this chaos All right, right. so then eventually what happened was we got uh we got a point of sale in the unit and i can't remember if i vlogged about that we may have vlogged but excellent thing with that it was windows based so it's talking to my samsung phone so then i was actually able to treat it like a, like a like a disc in the, yeah. in the camera yeah, so then I could were, drag yeah. and drop the files over and then they were actually time stamped and then those I could organize a bit better and then we got them to Dan and, and actually this video is meant to be about how we did that so literally as silly as this may sound if yeah. you guys are filming on your Apple or on your Samsung phone uh, onto a computer and then to get the things to Dan we were going to use WeTransfer, but we found Dropbox a whole lot easier. Yeah, so we're, our basis for transfer of files is mainly, mainly for Dropbox. Yeah. Um, we have an organized system on Dropbox, which is connected to servers here and servers back at mine. And basically, that just does all the syncing. So mm -hmm. we don't have to really worry about it. Once it's drag and dropped, I will receive it within, well, as fast as the Elgin as fast as as fast as as internet, internet can send it. Um, then I'll download it, and that's it. So it's... It seems to work, but Dropbox is, is what we're using. Obviously, there's other options, but that's the one that we found that works for us. Yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, it's as simple as that, really. Yeah, and then the videos, they progressed from there. So we were doing the weekly videos, and I remember mm. Dan's messages with, with the videos began to get, I'm trying to edit this, and we're at 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm trying to edit this, and we're at yeah. 25 minutes. See, that threw me, because I didn't expect yourselves as the audience to enjoy a 20 minute video uh, I, and that's no like I just was like they're not gonna want that no surely. they're not because if uh, you looked at the algorithm at the yeah. time it was saying seven minutes yeah. eight minutes tops yeah. for a video don't do any more and, and it was like yeah so basically we ended up with these long videos and I said to Alan I said well we'll try them see how people react and you guys love them so I said to Alan like let's take them away for a week and let's go back to five, six minute videos. And you guys wanted the long ones again. So, yeah, so that, yeah, that was, <laughs> so crazy, I was like, so. right, okay, well, I'll trust you. And that's it. That's yeah. What we did. So, so we were, yeah, we went to the long ones and they were getting longer and longer and longer. And then we had the build up for, I was doing the road trips. Mm -hmm. So we knew that I was going to get to go to Grid and then oh, go yeah. to SEMA. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we started, well, we attempted the dailies first. But as you can imagine, guys, I say it's easy, but it still isn't. Mm. To film your content every day, organize it and sit it on Dropbox and then Dan collates that and then has basically because a week behind three four days to yeah. edit that into a vlog and get it over to us but they were getting longer and longer I think they were getting to nearly 45 minutes yeah. so we made the conscious decision to try and do daily daily vlogging which worked in essence and didn't in others it mm -hmm. was creating stress ache for us not only because it's easy to make five videos but every five video needed reviewed, titled, thumbnailed, all the extra work that comes with it, all the stuff I talk to you guys about in the vlog, all the tagging in the bottom. But we thought we'd at least try it for the road trip because yeah. I was going to get so much content. There was no way I could have put America into one video. No, it was it was too much. And I thought that if there's a good chance, because that's the problem, is also running out of content as well. Mm -hmm. And we knew that for those two weeks, Alan was just going to have a mountain. <laughs> I was so, just going to go, I yeah. film everything. So yeah, and it was a case, and it was awesome because it was stuff that was very different for the channel. Uh, and I thought this would be the perfect time to do daily vlogs. And they, they worked. Yeah, they it good. worked. Yeah, they worked. Uh, you guys let us know as much as Dan's face is about to go, say what? Yeah. <laughs> would you like to see the daily vlogs back? Or are you liking the current format? 
where we're doing uh, a weekly coverage from my point of view and then trying to give you one or two other videos which may be a feature video and or the, the sort of uh, Q&A, these live sessions or yeah. the how-tos yeah. um, to that. So let us know on that. A little Some bit more. Really good question. So I want to answer Ryan because he's asked the oh, same nice. question twice now. Um, Ryan, yeah, exactly. You started on your phone. I saw you mention that and now you're on a GoPro. So what do I use? I use Premiere Pro. Yeah, we're to, both Premiere we're Pro. Both Premier Pro. I've taught Alan to use Premiere Pro um, and obviously he's taught himself. So it's just because that's the beauty of editing software. You can teach a lot of it yourself. Yeah, we do things I, completely different. We as well. do, do, exactly. <laughs> we do things completely differently. Uh, all shortcuts are different, everything's different, but it works. So I would recommend learning one of those softwares. Um, so you've got like Final Cut and so on, but I like the Adobe stuff. The Adobe package is nice and simple, comes with a lot of useful assets. So start off with Premiere Pro. If there's anything special that needs doing, then After Effects, you know, with regards to transitions or anything like that. But mainly, work in Premiere Pro, learn how to use it. I actually taught myself with Adobe Classroom books. So if I can do it, you can all do it. It's super simple. Definitely. Just dive into it, okay? That's my thought. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, Ryan. Sorry for, because you asked a couple of times, I didn't want to keep you waiting any longer there. Yes, guys, mm -hmm. a quick one on that. So we're gonna blether away. Please do ask your questions in the side up there. We are gonna get to them in this video time. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping to get across the bulk bit of this video and then literally we can have the last hour just hanging out with you guys <laughs> relaxing and covering all your amazing questions that are coming through i cannot believe the amazing people we have with us at the minute 31 people watching live at That's the amazing. moment the That's comments amazing. are coming firing through we're averaging 5.5 comments a minute That's so awesome. we really want to crunk that up a bit guys yeah. actually <laughs> interact here and if you're watching this video and enjoying it so far as to hanging out then please do smash that share button get it out to all your friends and tell them to come and hang out with this crazy numpty from elgin and his video editing photo friend <laughs> in the nice shirt apparently so the chat feed are saying yeah so we went from the road trip we came back we went to weekly and me and dan come back from that trip i was knackered as you guys know mm. problems have done dan was just about to knock me out for the amount of content and stuff we sent him and there wasn't enough time to do it so we had to try and get organized so after a bit of googling and as i show you guys mm. online we attempted to bring in some sort of normality uh, with yeah. trello yes we did yeah so i think you've spoken about this before haven't you uh -huh. on right so uh alan has this system to communicate with everyone well, to well basically with the whole most of my projects yeah, yeah, yeah my most of your projects are on there and it's a good way for us to track what he wants and what i can actually manage to make for him in the time scale that i've got basically um and it seems to work it's a good way for i think to it's communicate. good yeah if we use um, it I'm, i got in a really bad habit recently with life and i'm sure you guys would all <laughs> understand that basically it was lastminute.com fling to dan send a facebook message with again big massive apology. usually an apology is the first section and then it's like right and i need this done and this is for that date and i'm sorry again and i'm like right okay uh, <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's it. super cool mm. so yeah we use the trello platform and uh, in fact we were using it just yesterday to do some other bits and pieces yeah. and for the 2018 how to's and all the stuff that we have been promising you guys um that is what we're going to bulk out the stuff on it's really really helpful stuff uh, another cool one is the TubeBuddy application. That's really cool for helping you find descriptions now, and all that will be linked down below in this description, or I will edit it after. But I think that basically covers the majority of it. Yeah. Now we kind of upgraded a bit. So for the road tripping, I knew I was not going to get away with a phone, and I knew with yeah. me going to Jimkana Grid, yeah, going to Jimkana Grid, we looked and looked and looked for what to get and decided to go for the G7X. Dan, you got it first for your, we looked at it, and then yeah. you got it first, you managed to find a great deal on a Mark One. Like on a Mark One, Your yeah. local Dixons was selling it last yeah. minute, or Curry's or yeah, something? Yeah, Curry's, yeah, selling off a last last minute display model. But it's um, the only reason, well, I think the only reason we changed that, so again, pointing at the fact that the phone was absolutely fine. It really was, to get the point across. Yes, guys. But the, the camera allowed us a bit more flexibility and it allowed Alan to have a device that he could literally just use for the vlogs or just for video. And it had, well, it had better audio, it had better picture quality, yeah, and the storage, yeah, the again, storage which is, is a better. key thing. Mm -hmm. So I think the transition was like a natural transition to the G7X. Now, we chose the G7X um, for some, te or I pushed him towards the G7X for some technical reasons. The files are really, really easy to work with. Uh, Premiere Pro loves reading them. It's a very straightforward codec that they run on. And you basically, you can edit the footage from them on a very basic computer system. You don't need anything fancy. And you don't need lots of RAM or anything like that. So it's perfect for, for that, for managing that. 
Um, it's also very easy to use and has a touchscreen as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that so one? super yeah, cool. So that has a touchscreen. Then we got the Mark II. So I managed to find a deal on the Mark II. Yeah. And the only benefits of the Mark II for doing the road tripping was uh, you off, can yeah. charge it on USB. Yeah. So it meant whilst I was doing the road tripping, what you guys didn't see was I was literally stealing the Mustang's USB port and charging the camera between the road tripping because as you've seen in the vlog, some of the hotels uh, were good, but you know, when you're in the middle of the desert, your Wi-Fi and electricity connection's not amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we had some technical issues there. It also had a really cool tilt screen, this one, which really actually helped me because- It helps your framing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it helped my mm. framing and it massively helped with something that I am not used to in the media game, which is almost intruding on people's space. Yes. Because when we were at Gymkhana Grid, yeah, these guys are high vised up, getting paid to do their job, and they are literally wanting to push to the front to get to the drivers to get the content. I'm in the media bit like, I, I was literally stood there, guys like, do I even, do I have the right to be here? <laughs> so basically, I was tilting it on tilt camera and holding it over all the other media guys to, to get them shots. So the tilt the tilt was quite handy. That's handy, that as well. yeah, that's handy. But it gave a lot more flexibility. And then you, I believe, when you came back from America, you got a DSLR. So we came back and I bought your... My 6D. 6D, and yeah. that was for the pictures. And yeah. then that's when we started to bring out the feature videos and we would only use the DSLR for that. Mm -hmm. And it gave us the other camera. So it meant I could vlog. And then the gentleman in between the vlogging, as you guys have seen, uh, a lot of projects started. Basically, since I came back from America, since I came back from SEMA, the brand got a lot of activity. It got mm -hmm. a lot of interest. Yeah and I needed to be free. So what couldn't happen is me being on the shop floor all the time like some of the other vloggers you watch. So I had to have a camera for the gents. So they used the 6D for and filming Alan the B-roll. is very lucky because all the boys here are interested in media. Yeah, they all, I mean, you have an amazing team of people that are genuinely want to be involved, want to make stuff. And it's great. I mean, recently they've started to show up more on camera as well, which mm -hmm. is really nice. And I think right now in the bay, there is um, one of your staff is actually filming right yeah, now. Yeah, so Eon yeah. is in the bay yeah. right now. He's just finishing a uh, discovery off that we had in today that just needs a little bit extra work. And he's actually filming the B-roll on yeah. it because on the camera for the vlog. Oh, it's here. <laughs> there you go. Camera yeah. for the vlog. So there's that tilt screen I was telling you guys about so I could tilt it back like that and see from them below. But yeah, he's currently through there now filming that because I told all you guys on the vlog that we're going to be doing, oh, we're doing the Matrix thing mm -hmm. again. Where it's like... In the past, oh, yeah, to the future, course. to yeah, the past, course. to the future. So then we got that one, and then we bought the AED. Now, for me, the AED was a phenomenal upgrade, but I was not going to use it as a vlogging camera. There's no way I can do the Casey thing of holding this digital SLR yeah. with a big, massive road mic on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what was cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, let us know in the chat right now, over there, somewhere, okay. um, <laughs> up there. Let us know in that chat what you thought of the five things video, because it's the first time I've used dedicated lighting the road mic and the proper AED without any tips from Dan. So he's yeah, there this week, he's gonna help yeah. me hook that up. <laughs> that was awesome. Man. He's gonna help me hook that yeah. up for better yeah. lighting to give us that, that static thing. But that's hopefully gonna help me do the how to's to camera mm -hmm. and for you guys. And that sort of camera is really gonna help as well for building the training course. Excellent, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah which so. is the big, the big project right now that we're working on. So apart mm. from that gear, anything else we need to speak about really? Uh, I think gear wise. Oh, yeah, so I've seen in the chats there's a bit going on about using phones. Yeah. We have a phone microphone as well, the yes. Rode Video, not the Video Mic Pro, it's called something like the Rode Video Me, I think. Right. Something like that. I'm pretty sure I've seen Paul Dalton talking about it in the chat. That's a cool little mic for the phone. I did use that on a couple of live streams when mm -hmm. I was getting into using the live streaming before I found out I could use this Epic camera and use the platform I'm speaking to you all on now, but that's quite a handy little microphone. Uh, the Gorilla Pods are also fantastic for using, guys. Yeah. You can get them on Amazon. Not to mention the. Yeah. And then you have to get your little wind fluffer yeah. as well to stop the. There was a there was a comment yeah. earlier I caught uh, someone saying is audio more important than visual and I'm a firm believer. I that would yes, say yes. Yes, yes. it is. Mm -hmm. You need to be clear. You need to. It, I, I find that you'll, as a viewer and as a viewer myself, I'll switch off far quicker on something that doesn't that has poor audio quality than if it has poor video quality. Yeah, exactly. If, so, a, if a shot goes out of focus, yeah. you can forgive it if your story is still being told through the audio, whether that be music or whether it be through the um, through the microphone. But at the moment, all you hear in the background is... Yeah, it's, it puts you straight off as a viewer. And you, yeah, exactly. We've and we, yeah, we have. We've, from that. Yeah, we've had, yeah. To, we've had to get rid of some stuff, early stuff, because of that. So, yeah, microphones are hugely important. I think now you have... Do you have a microphone? We don't, so now yeah. I have the, yeah, the Rode uh, Video Mic Pro. Mm-hmm. Uh, which 
takes the big battery in it, so we're using that one as well. And that was used in the Five Things video, which helps me get rid of the hissing because a couple of things you guys might not know is the Canon cameras are amazing for video and picture quality, but their built-in amplifiers are useless. Mm -hmm. So the microphones you're using, you either have to use a good lapel mic with them or like the Rode Video Mic Pro, it has a uh, internal gain amplifier. Yeah, it does. So basically, yeah. if you crank its gain up, it allows you to turn the amplifier mm -hmm. in the camera way down and it stops that hissing that you can get. And I talked about it also in the 52 accidental minutes, sorry, Dan, of me washing the van that Dan oh, had to edit. Yeah. Um, where a... it had, I had the remote lapel mic on it because there's no great. gain on it. It was mm. great, yeah, but because there was no gain in that, Dan had to do a lot of magic in the audio because there was. But that went, that one went down really well as well. So it yeah, just shows really uh, it's very hard to figure out sometimes what you guys want. What, you guys want. what do yeah. you want? <laughs> Let us know in there. Because so, I, I genuinely, like, again, going back to it, I genuinely wasn't sure about the vlogs, but that seems to be the, the passion. That seems to be what, that is brilliant. And it's fantastic. It is epic. Yeah. And also, guys, greatest insight. whilst we're chatting to you, Dan has his vlogs. You can check him out. He has a channel. Do a little Google scan. Aim the youtube.com forward slash status error. Status be. error. Yeah. So they're hosted on status error channel. Yeah. Yeah. You can go over and check them out. You can see a little bit of Janny, and you'll see his vlogs too. Um, working on a few of them for this year. Hopefully, let's uh, let's push him. Push him, guys. Get in the comments. Yeah. Push him. <laughs> push him to do Dan content because Dan's content is super super sweet. So yeah, basically, if you don't film it, you can't use it. Yeah. Let's fling it into a computer. Bang it together and put it on the internet. And then when it goes on the internet, guys, take everything you see with like a pinch of salt. Try and not take it too personally because no. you will get the keyboard warriors, but then you may get someone like myself or someone like Dan come on and we will try and say it as nicely as possible. But when you're on monotone text, it won't sound like it's nice no. as possible. And this guy says, see if you just use a bit of light in, that may have looked yeah. better. So people are trying to give you tips, take them on board, take all criticism as constructive criticism, whether it's good or bad and just have fun and grow, it. grow yeah. it. I mean, look at us, we're a year and a half in or two years in and there's nearly 7,000 people subscribed and our average videos are 2,000 views, which yeah, I think madness. is just crazy, yeah. especially for this style because you guys say we're in a niche or we're in a whatever, but uh, like we are literally a team of four people here, Dan remotely, and there's nothing I would say overly cinematic or overly no. heavily edited no, about our videos really, no. they're very raw they're very truthful you know they're not we're in a studio that's perfect style videos so we appreciate every single one of you and hopefully inspire you to carry on with your detail and get on to youtube yeah exactly yeah that's what it's about really just trying to encourage other people to do it and show that it can be done by anyone just so we are mind to it. about 20 minutes in mm -hmm. dan can't stop reading these bad things. i know i know so i can't help it we're gonna we're gonna dive looking. dive on here now let's have a quick look remember guys if you 100 percent want to guarantee your question being asked then drop us a little smash on the super chat and it will jump up on here huge and then you will draw loads of our attention we'll be like oh who's this look at that <laughs> and then <laughs> we will see it so i'm gonna quickly roll to the top and yeah. make my way through Dan, have you got anything you've seen and want to answer? Um, could you go, go up a little bit more? There was a couple of oh, questions. There's one I can answer, so you yeah. can scroll through it. So currently I've got someone asking us about US distribution. Ah. And as I always say in the vlogs, I would love to be with you guys over there in the US. With everyone in the world, it would be fantastic. But exporting from Scotland to the US is not something that's easy. And also at the moment, reach out to me if you want. There's no one in America showing actively wanting to stock our range there. So we're going to have to get it there ourselves or have some sort of AMD test representation in America. I'm trying to do a workaround with using Amazon FBA. So we've been mm -hmm. testing in the UK using Amazon FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. The prime button basically in uh, UK and Europe. But if I can get it to America and get that to work, then hopefully I can fling a load of stuff on a pallet, get it through customs, get through all the paperwork that's needed, drop it off to the local FBA center, and then you guys will be able to buy it through Amazon. But if you're watching and you fancy stocking my stuff, in, <laughs> yeah, in America, was, then come and give us a shout because me and Eon are actively going to exporting meetings. As you've seen in the vlog just last week, we were at an expo about exporting to other countries and uh, hopefully cool. that That's will happen. It was really mm. interesting. I think mm. it was good for Eon to see as well. Excellent. So I, I see a comment here from Simon saying about what essential gear uh, would advise a new YouTuber to use. I kind of, I know we've talked over it quite quickly, um, but basically uh, yourself and something to record you. <laughs> it's basically the only thing I would say. Uh, and a self-stabilizer is cool. It will up the production value, you know, give you that smooth shot, probably give you more confidence in your footage as well, rather than going, oh, everything's shaky and all that. So yeah, it will, it will help. Um, but that's really, I wouldn't say, 
need uh, you know I, I definitely wouldn't push you to buy anything expensive put it that way start and go on kind of thing so yeah, see how you enjoy it what's super cool is the am details community as always high five it's cool to go through this chat and see that you guys are having really conversations nice. yeah, with, each with each other and really complimenting cool. each other yeah, and they watching are. each other's content which is like super that. super cool uh, big high five to paul dalden how you do my man are you going to be at autosport opening a random question on here but i think that might be the first show that maybe me and dan is a duo who wants oh, to see yeah. this duo the next Ant and deck yeah that'd be good. i'll be the small one i'm knowing knowing you, know, can, be you can be the you can be the ant one i'll be yep. the deck one yeah. <laughs> But we might end up uh, heading over to All Sport, guys. So if you'd like to see us, you can come check us out there. And hopefully, if you guys are there, then let us know. I'm going to scroll right to the bottom. So we're now just going to answer super live stuff that's here, which we can see is thanks. So that's super cool from Let's Play World saying thanks. Super Sheen has been a high five. Well, Game Boy, I was. No, this was nice. They were, they, were they were discussing. Oh, cool. They were discussing about a channel name, which I think is really. Oh, what's really the channel cool. name? Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it's good. It's a good name. I like that. Is there, uh, if you scroll up a sec, is there any? Uh, Let's have a look. So yes, yeah, Simon, uh, watch some reviews first. There's a. Oh, that's the discussion about nice, the nice, um, but mic mic. Uh, mm -hmm. Plug in, mate. There's an adapter for it. It's super sweet. Mm -hmm. Please visit my channel. I'm really not into that game. Don't be putting that on here, guys. Come on. We don't want to go visiting no channels just give us high fives and love and we'll check you out there uh, if you yet to make my first video for super sheen and i'm using either my iphone plus or the on a stabilizer super sheen that'll be cool guys just film it as dan says yeah. just film it throw it up there and see what happens i mean we're literally filming this on a webcam which i think is now 60 quid because it's about that cheap yeah yeah and it has an inbuilt microphone and the only reason we're doing it instead of using the telephone which has currently got five people on instagram hello instagrammers Hello Dream Dubai Auto Detailing, hello Grizzle, how are you guys all doing? <laughs> Is because we want to use this platform so we can give you, um, if I should lead, give you this experience. Da -da -da. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can give you this and then you guys will watch this video back and see the chats that you um, that we are reading back to you right now. Dan, what do you use? Oh, videos? There's, there's a comment question. there asking you, because obviously this is something you want to do. We're just testing. This is like a, the duo. Yeah, obviously, because yeah. you want to have other people on. Yes. Uh, more geared towards so, your industry and so on. Well, we'll let you know. In the yeah. future, we're currently at my my new home. Uh, we are attempting to build a AM Details office in the mm -hmm. garage, a bit of a conversion. I might film that. That's going to be, be very quite cool. cool yeah, it would be actually. cool, actually. I, I mean, might film that. I'll make really my own cool. personal channel for it or something. Yeah. But, um, and then I'm hoping to have a better setup. So at the minute, yes, we're saying you only need basic stuff to get into YouTube. Without a doubt, you just need basic stuff. But now... I personally am wanting to get to the level where Dan can come and hang out, we're chilling on a sofa, yeah. we've got a couple of drinks, yeah. and we can do stuff. And someone's asking here, Elliot L98, will Jim White ever be on this, Alan? And of course, if we can manage to get Jim to agree to do live, <laughs> Jim is not a live guy, mm. okay? He's not, Jim is a fantastic guy, but he's not into, into this. No, just it's, hanging it's out intimidating. live with you all. It can it. be intimidating, it, yeah. like I just wing it to the best, uh, Dan's giving you all the super duper high fives. Um, so, yes, we hope to have Jim on the channel, but the way it's probably going to happen will be the same way that. Um, oh, the other one we had. Yes, did. that we worked out where we will do pre-recorded and then and then do the editing. Guys, Jim's a great longtime friend of the Medcraft family. Never mind him details. He's been to the wedding and done all the good stuff. But as you guys have seen, busy, busy guy, and he doesn't like to book in holidays. No. No. So I've already told him to come. Oh my gosh! Just block right. June out next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block June out and come <laughs> up for my birthday. And um, so yes, hopefully we'll have Jim White on the channel at some point, and then hopefully I'll go to that channel and we will hang out and do all that sort of stuff. I think the key thing I know, obviously, you wanna you're building that, but I think that's because doing this has lit a fire in his belly because you can see the community that he's grown as well. Because I can see it just looking at here, look at the chat. Because I never really look at the comments of the videos that yeah. I edit. Uh, for you, so I don't actually get to see it, but this is fantastic. Yes, yeah, so um, and it's we go. amazing. So yeah. we've got some more chats coming through, guys. We're going to hang out with you. If I just quickly scroll up like this, and I think we're about here. Your forehead is too small for Ant. Oh, that's a compliment on you, Dan. Where's that? Sorry. Yeah, your your forehead is too small to be Ant. So at least it's a nice oh, compliment that thank you, you. Have a, you have a squidgy forehead. Uh, uh, just it's I have a big head. It's fine. Uh, so it's then up there, we've got appreciate the time all the hobbyists put into producing the content. Thank you very much, sure It's epic, isn't it? It's great to see. Yeah everyone giving their opinion out there on their products and just getting more detailers onto YouTube. YouTube has been full of lots of other niches and it's quite cool to have um, car related niches on there. And then we've got the question, am I reading the same questions here? So then will Jim White details ever be on? He asked the question again. Uh, just made it a few. Hi Alan and Dan. How's it going Paul? Paul is a regular watcher of the channel. Oh, fantastic. Great to have you here. Nice one Paul. And then Paul cool. Dolden, got to fly Alan Dan, speak later. Paul. Was, in this time. It was a pleasure, Paul. It was we'll nice see to see you there, interacting Chief. with everyone. Hopefully, that was awesome. we will uh, see you at Autosport. Give me a WhatsApp message and let me know later on. 
Uh, the Flying Scotsman, hi Alan, how are you doing my man? It's good to see you here. Connor Ross Media, high five. Have you ever thought about doing podcasts? Oh yeah, definitely. That's something I would personally love to do for my own channel. So I mm -hmm. uh, 100%, yeah, I love it. I'm not sure, I'm still nervous for the whole video thing, but it seems to be going down well. Yeah, I've had compliments like, on my shirt, my big forehead. I'm, I'm doing winning. all right. Oh, it was a small right. forehead. Oh, it was a small forehead. Oh. It wasn't big enough for oh. you to be on. Oh, I see. That's oh, yeah. Thank you very much. I got you now. I got you. So, yeah, I would, I would love to do uh, podcasts and probably it would be like this, but structured more. In fact, yeah. if we just had a microphone here right now, we could do it. Friends of mine, actually, uh, Owen Video and Nick Nimmin over uh, doing oh, their yeah. business videos, what mm -hmm. they do is they film a podcast live. So they have the podcast that's been recorded, but then they stream it live onto Facebook. So mm -hmm. if you're watching it on Facebook, you can interact and then you can hear them interacting with the Facebook community through the podcast. That's so really when you're cool. traveling and you're listening mm. to the podcast, it's exactly like this. Right. Um, but they structure it a lot better than let's just hang out for an hour. Yeah. They have specialists come on and it's exactly what I'd love to do. Like mm. I would love, and I think I am working on it. Can I announce this stuff? I'm announcing it. So I'm working on getting people like Jason Rose and stuff on the channel. Yeah. Dan will be looking like, I've got no idea who that guy is. But I'm just uh, nodding though. It must be some, <laughs> must be a big head, deal. So. Head of training at Rupes. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. So. <laughs> It's and I pronounced it correctly. So we're hoping to do podcasts of that nature. And as you know, the Americans are massively into podcasting. So if I can do it, then hopefully that will help me get more into yeah. the American market um, and spread the YouTube AM Details channel uh, that way. So yes, podcasting would be super Yeah, it would be really cool. cool. Really, I'd really, love really to. cool. Uh, Flying Scotsman saying hello to you, Dan. Oh, Get hello. Uh, e. Tony, the two best YouTubers out there, yourself and Jim White. Keep up, boys. Oh, that's ace, isn't it? Like that's, that. that's really cool. That's I'm really sure awesome. I ask if you had to choose. No, don't, don't ask. No, that's question. fantastic. But that just shows the community again because I, I don't know whether this is true. Uh, this might show my naivety, but there's not. It's very brave doing what you've done and exposing the business and being, you know, the way as 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 um, public as you guys both are, yourself and Jim. And yeah. I think it shows that the public is loving it, and that's what they want to see. They want to see what's happening behind closed doors, and I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, in fact, that um, was a big a big social media thing for me, actually, yeah. was putting things on Instagram and on Facebook yeah. before we started doing YouTube, and where I would show videos of my enhancements that we carry out here at work, and I would say, there are still defects in this car. This is by yeah. no means a perfect finish, but as I try and promote to you guys, it's what the customer is looking for that is key, not what you want to happen in your head, and then you put way too much hour in the car, the car leaves, four days later and you're only getting paid for two days work. Yeah. So yeah. that's where this kind of happened and then keeping that honesty in the vlogs yeah. is what we see. And it does create good debate in the comments as well as mm. good comments. It creates people saying, why does have it? you done things in that way? Oh really? Oh, I would brilliant. have done okay. it like that. I that's would have really done really it different. And that kind of debate's epic in the conversations down below because then we either learn from it or it gives us an opportunity to go, oh, actually in that situation, this is why we did it that way. Mm. Um, so it's really cool. I quite I don't mind showing you what's going on here. There's some obviously some elements we don't show. Yeah. But I quite like showing you guys what's going on. So it's uh, it's super cool. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that with us. Who else we got? Stuart H. Spot on Tony. Oh, what was Tony saying? Oh yeah, same oh. bit above. Oh again, no. Oh, Nicola nice. Forbes. Hello. High five. <laughs> I seen that you came in today. I missed you though because I had my headphones in and I was machine polishing the car. So I hope the gents got you hooked up <laughs> and uh, hope you had a good time at the machine polishing day. Mm -hmm. and the tail end of the open day so let us know in these comments what you thought of the i'm used to saying down below yeah them ones them ones are done i'm used to saying down below but i have to say over there now um what you thought of those days so the people in the comments might come and hang out at one of our other machine days mm -hmm. uh super sheen is saying i agree and completely blown away by the size and quality of the community it's epic, yeah isn't it? it's nice it's really nice it's not it's just very helpful i, I see people well you tell me all the time that they're they're discussing things they're helping each other uh, and that's just in the comment section uh, yeah and I, it's, I, I think that's amazing absolutely amazing really really cool uh, <laughs> so will you guys be at goodwood M myself i tell myself every year i should go to goodwood but i'm fairly sure 99 percent sure goodwood clashes with an amd commitment and that's why i don't make it or okay i lastminute.com want to go and then can't, and especially yeah. now, not going to be able to. But Dan, you go uh, regularly. Yeah, I've worked there the last two years. Uh, absolutely amazing. So it's one of the best events I've ever worked at. So uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know what next year will bring, but fingers crossed, I'll be back there. So you would say for someone if they've never done good, would oh, hang out. It's Goodwood. amazing. Like the best show in the UK, is, in my opinion. If you you like anything, anything motorsport, two wheel, four wheel, anything, rally, road, it's got everything, and it is you're that close to all of it as well. It's Perfect, like right. one of the best shows. Up close and personal. Yeah, yeah, it's all there in front of you. It's, so it's one of the best events I've ever worked at, for sure. Would you? 
have mm -hmm. some tips for these guys. Hey, what's up? As we're talking about filming and doing stuff together. So if these guys here, Paul Dalton and all the other YouTubers yep. just like myself, first time they go to Goodwood, what kind of tips and advice would you give them as a guy who's in the media trade, but these guys ain't going to have media passes on how they can create content at Goodwood? Oh, okay. Well, the beauty with uh, an event like Goodwood is the media areas are actually uh, few and far between. Um, my people like myself who are working there will, will really won't get in your way like at some other events. We're not allowed to go many places, and it is very much prioritised towards the public. And, oh, nice. Uh, which so is, open paddocks? Yeah, pretty much. Fantastic. Yeah, they're open paddocks, and you can have a good wander around, can talk to talk to the drivers, talk to the teams. Everyone's there. The beauty with something like Goodwood Festival of Speed in my opinion, is it's for fun. Like, there's very few people that are there, obviously there's the hill climb, there's that competitive nature to it, but a lot of people are there because they've been invited and they're having a laugh and it's a demo, so oh, to speak. Man. So you get to have all this great contact with everyone. So all the drivers that you would like to meet, and if they're there, then just go up and try and approach them and try and approach the team. So, and then you, if you wanted to make exclusive content, then I don't really see why you couldn't. It would be very easy there, nice, of all cool. places. Not to mention the, the viewing areas for the public for the hill climb itself is, I mean, you're pretty much on the circuit the whole time. Yeah, right? I've seen it's, that. It's like yeah. literally hay bales and that Yeah, thing. it's amazing. Yeah, one row of hay bales, and then you've got a small little media area, which basically in front of everyone, um, and that's it. But the media, as I was saying earlier, rarely gets in the public's way, I, I hope, because there's not many of us there. I think they only let like 200-odd, uh, which is not a lot, really, when you consider the size of Goodwood. Right, amazing. Speak. Yeah. Epic. Dan, thank mm -hmm. you so much. So, guys. Who's going to be attending Goodwood this year and have them tips helped you out? Let us know over here yeah. in the comments. This is super, super cool. Okay, so carrying on my way down here. What else is going on? Hey, on high five. Eon is making his way out. Uh, he has to go and move something, but then he'll be back, guys. So that's what's happening during this live chat. So what else have we got going on here? That was a Goodwood question. Uh, what day? What days are you lads? Thinking of ASI. ASI. So uh, Autosport International. Oh, nice. All Sport International. Sweet. So, good question. Uh, Jamie, there we go, Jamie. I'm thinking I will probably attend the media days. So that's Thursday, Friday. Thursday, is it? Friday. And yeah. the reason I do the media day, guys, don't hate me, is um, this is going to sound terrible, but you guys aren't there. So what it means is, <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> but what it means is, uh, from a business point of view, the business to business communications are a lot easier. Yeah. And some of the people I want to see are only there at, because uh, ASI International is all sport. And I think actually the Saturday and Sunday it's called something else, isn't it? It's called the the car show. It's called. Is it? Oh, yeah, I haven't it done. It's called the, a separate. I haven't thing. done the weekend in so, years. So uh, I will be sure. there for the Thursday and the Friday networking. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully putting myself out there, hanging out with the Rupes crew, hanging out with Fueltopia and uh, fellow friends in the industry. There's a couple of things we can't talk about today, but hopefully once I've filmed them at Sport, I can announce for you guys on mm -hmm. YouTube. But I I'm think I might hang around and do the Saturday. Yeah, I think it would be nice. It would be good, especially if some of your community is there. It would be nice for you yeah, to Yeah, so if you guys are going to be there, people. I'm going to be there on the Saturday. Literally, probably if one of you just said I want to be there and have a coffee, I would use that as a fantastic excuse yeah, to stay. Yeah, that's what we need, yeah. <laughs> so if one of you guys are going to stay, hang out, want to meet us at Autosport, then we will try our best. Sorry, Daniel. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's then fine. we will try our best to be there on Saturday. I think I'm probably going to do it anyway. And who knows, I might try and twist uh, Jim White's arm as well and get him there. Oh, that'd be nice, boy. Yeah, so that'd, that'd be really cool, good. Wouldn't it? We'll all be like a little family, like, oh. Cute. Cool, so that's yeah. gonna be all the sport. I know I'm definitely gonna be down there for them days. What else have we got going on? Neil, hey Alan, good to see you, hope you're doing well. Hello sir, how are you? Yes, I'm doing very well, frantically mm. trying to talk our way through. We've been on 40 minutes, Dan. We're doing very well. We're doing um, very, very well on no, this. I'm, I'm uh, happy, I just think it's amazing that we've got people interacting with One us. hour that's, live chat session. That blows my mind. Yeah. Well, we were at five messages a minute, we're yeah. down at one. Come on guys, <laughs> ask your questions. There's 34 mm. people here. We are ready now in the question answering session. If you've got any questions about the gear we use, how we edit, how we work together, what the AMD Tools team are up to, then ask us in now the comments time. here, yeah. and we will point you out and highlight and answer those questions for you. Mm -hmm. So, up next we have, I'd love to go, I'd love to, go to Goodwood. Sorry, right. Paul. I, I might, hope you do, Paul. Anyway. I might try and yeah. make it happen. Well, uh, Alan Moore, me, are they going to Goodwood? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Alan, you're going excellent. Is that Goodwood or ASI? Uh, it'll be you know? Goodwood. He was the one, uh, he was the gentleman asking us about Goodwood. Oh, Sorry. perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we might be there. I know, fine, well, just for the community, you guys, to let you know, I am 99% sure the past two years they have gone G Technic Go and Rupes Go. 
Yeah. I think Auto Finesse went last year as well. So there's yeah, definitely yeah. going to yeah. be some detail in community people there. And there's definitely going to be companies that you guys can hang out with. So definitely go and check that one out. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicola Forbes, Machine Polish and Day blew my mind. Oh, amazing. High five. That's awesome. Uh, blew my mind with so many techniques learned and such a great hands-on. Trying all the machines and polishes. Need more females in the industry. Yes, go on girl power. Uh, would recommend it highly. Thank you, Nicola. That was incredible. Mm, that's really feedback. cool. That's the there? best feedback ever. There we go. Feedback. Yeah. What? Uh, that was just a cool random day we did after the open day. So was that the following day? Yeah, so we did oh, the wow. open day. I did film some stuff. I'm not sure if we're going to save that. I'm no, not we're not going to save no. that. <laughs> I don't think there's much saveable from that. We might do a open day, I, I messed up live session like this yeah. and just show you the content. Yeah, yeah. But then uh, the day after, because we had um, Rip is UK up and we had our good friend Roy who came up to help who's been everywhere in the industry, uh, we decided to keep them another day. And a lot of people traveled up from down south, Dan, you wouldn't believe. So I says, let's just have an extra day, charge everyone £10. All that was was to give commitment, and their £10 100% got blown in a pizza place. Can I say the pizza place? And they have to say other pizza places uh, are available. Yeah, it's not, no. it's not advertised. No, yeah. so uh, yeah, <laughs> we, <laughs> we definitely had a shed load of Domino's pizza. Ah, right, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you guys should check it out on Instagram. I think there's definitely a picture of Eon. And if anyone knows Eon, yeah, he's not a one. small guy. No. Uh, full arms length, racked out with pizza <laughs> for the 15 or 16 amazing people that came and hung out with us. Uh, that must have been a really good day. That must it was a really, good really good day. Three yeah. bonnets, uh, just three. Uh, like-minded professionals with lots of different techniques and even the 15 people that came we had from all different backgrounds uh, beginners right the way through to body shops right through to so, so, so is Nicola who gave you the feedback Nicola yep. is one of the amazing uh, beginners that spent the morning with me oh, and then moved on to go and learn some more technical stuff with other guys so oh that's really fantastic that's really really cool really yeah, cause those machines are a bit intimidating uh, as someone who has no clue like Alan's barely taught me how to well it's barely sunk in how to clean a car, so let alone use a machine polisher. Mm -hmm. So I find that intimidating. I, I get that. Um, that must have been a really good day. It was super, yeah. super cool, and the uh, pizza was young. Yeah, good. Pizza good, good, good. <laughs> uh, next question, Jonathan Watson. Bang, right, how so are you doing, sir? Alan, what is the best way to layer AM seal and AM wax? Oh, a technical question. Hello, sir. So the best way, excuse me, to layer those two products is, of course, do whatever you're going to do first, whether that's going to be machine polish, apply your favorite glaze, then put AM seal onto the car. Now that's done very easily. Just shake up the bottle, spray it into an applicator, and then you're not really working it in. So if this was the paintwork, I'm not working hard to get AM seal into the paintwork. Okay. Uh, what we're doing is you're just going to spread it lightly over the area, make sure you're covering all your painted areas. Probably going to take this time of year with it being a bit chilly, about 15, 20 minutes for that to haze out. And ah, right. Bottle. Okay. So you need it. You need it in a warm. Yeah. Right, so then okay. we're going to buff that off. Yeah. Once it's buffed off, you're going to wait 30 minutes, guys. At least 30 minutes. The reason you're doing that is to wait on the solvents that are mixed with the, um, oh my goodness me, mixed with the acrylic sealants that are in there. Here we go. Uh, allow them all to evaporate off and then you can put another layer on if you wish. Keep layering that as much as you want. But if you wish to top AM seal with wax, have at least one hour. So if you're going from AM seal to AM wax, have at least one hour. And I would always say put two coats of AM seal on before even waxing or continuing with more coats of AM seal or whatever you're going to do. Just two coats, guys really helps to solidify and sink and bolt together all the glazes if you've been using fillers and glazes on your paintwork. Brilliant. So there we go. I hope that helps you, Jonathan. Jonathan, you won quite a bit in the rapids, oh, really? I remember. I think he was a big time winner. Oh, but I think you gave us a very nice Instagram post, which I would find. But there is amazing 10 people on Instagram still. <laughs> There's still people on Instagram. They're asking loads of questions. Oh, no. Can we really? We're missing questions? them all. Oh, wow. We can scroll through questions. Pure Final Rinse are on there. High five, guys. Right. Everyone that's, excuse me, YouTube, let me go and tell these people off. <clears throat> Everyone that's on Instagram, <laughs> if you would like to answer us a question live on this live thing, then go to youtube.com forward slash AM details. There's like some good ones on there as I well. I know, look at these questions. There's, There's some good questions. So go on to youtube.com forward slash AM details, ask your questions there. We will then see them on that bit and then we will ask them. So Jack, ask your question on there. Tongue out, laces, pen, everything. Oh my goodness, that's some name. Make sure you ask it on the YouTube to come say hi. Uh, look at all these amazing it's people really saying hello. Ones. Yeah, really Instagram, good Instagram, I love you so much. I love you millions and millions and millions. Right, so next question, what's going on? Boosh. Is that in the NEC? Yeah, so that's... Yes, it is. Yeah, so Autosport. Autosport is at the, the NEC. NEC. And the reason I come and attend that a lot, guys, and everyone says, why do you go Autosport before Goodwood or why do everyone else? Connections. Yeah. Connections for me, it's literally 40 minutes to Aberdeen. I get on an airplane that leaves here at half seven in the morning. 
and I am in Birmingham NEC by half eight. I have yammed my breakfast and I'm at the NEC by nine because it's all internal. The Birmingham hub for me is just incredible. Mm. So that's why I do all sport. That's why I go to yeah. the drift events there. Yeah. It's a really good network. It's not easy to get out anywhere here. else. Like, it's not easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's difficult up here. Um, yeah. As long as you can get to an airport, here to the airports is easy. But then airports anywhere else. So for example, we get invited to great events at Silverstone or we get mm -hmm. invited to other events around the UK. But for me to fly into somewhere, it's then either taxis, yeah. Ubers, private hire, or do whatever to get to the next place, whereas Birmingham, literally, I don't know if any of you guys have been there, you come off the airport and then you just get a simple little internal tube thing and you're at the NEC. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, done. Uh, Waxdog, you should make it into the NEC next year. No, I'm joking. I love the Rick Arena. The Rick Arena is really easy. It's like 10 minutes away from the NEC. So super, super cool. Right. What other questions have we got going on? Goodwood watching in the south of Ireland. That's Hello, cool. sir. How That's are you? Really cool. uh, Daniel ah, Betts. That's a good question. To both. Do you edit videos the way you want to do? Excuse me. Do you edit videos the way you want to or do you edit them for an audience? Very good question. Right. I will say how I feel about that because basically I... Um, Alan is very free with his structure, very much like he films what he wants to film and provides me with it. He has a good idea of what he wants his vlog to look like, so he does give me a rough idea of I'd like this to do that and I'd like to show this at that point and I'm totally for that. I like it. A little bit of structure is a good thing. Uh, but I don't think that we gear it for anyone in particular. I, I don't think we've ever edited anything where we've gone, that's not going to work. The one thing I will say is, and I think this is in your favour as an audience, is Alan will film particular things for a Facebook audience or an Instagram audience or YouTube. I think yeah. that's a good thing. Yes. But I don't think we've ever, I mean, I don't know how you feel about it, but. Uh, no, oh, yeah, uh, so well, one thing I say about the vlogs, at least anyway, yeah. is when, yours, when I'm filming yeah, yeah. the vlogs, they are what they are this. Yeah. They, are not, um, they are not what other companies maybe do on YouTube where it's, focused on the car. The the vlog is, and we originally called it, and we need to go back, I don't even know how many vlogs we've done. We'll have to go and do a geek session and yeah. do one of these live things where I go, oh my God, it's a 200th show. Yeah, it must be, well, yeah. <laughs> but well we into 100, literally, right into um, they, are, they used to be called the vlogs by Alan. Mm -hmm. And basically guys, I pick this thing up and I show you, the user, what it's like to be Alan from AM Details, but then also try and show you what it's like to develop this company, where we've come from, where we're going, and yeah. what's in the shop. And that is what the vlog is. So and for me, it's actually really easy to shoot because I shoot what I'm looking at and it's timestamped for Dan. Yeah. And he just has to find an amazingly creative way of making it come right. together mm. for you guys um, at home. The other style of videos That's a good point, we yeah. could potentially force. For example, we will start filming a protection detail mm. and we want to make it a great feature for you guys and the phone will go. So then I'll have to come inside, take a phone call, I go outside, I gotta carry on with the rest of the detail and try and remember that the phone went halfway through the snow foam. So at the very end, I might have to snow foam the car again to fake it, to then tell Daniel that the videos 1000 yeah. that were shot 10 minutes later actually have to be at the start and yeah. part of the foam session. So sometimes we do have to force in that way, but we never force as in I reshoot anything. The no. vlogs are pretty hardcore, unless we accidentally swear or there's something in the background, mm -hmm. then what you see is what you get. We don't reshoot anything. It's no. the exact same as Dan says. Um, I'm pretty key on being, um, what's the word? Being um, complimentary to the platform. Yeah. Like I, I yeah. like to use the platform. So if I'm going to Facebook, I will try my best to say hello Facebook and I yeah. will shoot in a Facebook way. If I'm going on Instagram, I will keep the video under one minute and I will shoot it in a square or shoot it on the Instagram kind of platform way. Mm -hmm. So I try mm -hmm. and um, be savvy to the platform that I'm using. Like Twitter, I've still to work that out because I don't think, I think they're like 40 seconds. I, I don't like think Twitter. they're quite a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to be on Twitter more. So to mm -hmm. get me on Twitter more, you guys have to interact with me. So go and find us. We're twitter.com forward slash AM details. And I personally am twitter.com forward slash Alan dot Medcraft, I think. And then on Instagram, I'm a Medcraft, or it might be the other way around, but you can come find me. It's mostly pictures of me hanging out with this guy, nice watches, yeah. and uh, Jacob, basically. Yeah, come yeah, and um, just uh, one last thing on that one, because I think it's a really good question. I think it's a great um, question. The, the, uh, well, what I will say is when I'm here, and I'm filming for Alan, and I'm working here for the next few days, I he leaves me to have creative control over what I'm making which is really nice for me. So I'm able to film exactly. So in my head, I've got a storyboard of how I want the video to look and I can make it look like that. So it, there is definitely freedom. Uh, anyway, that's kind of what I yeah, want to say. Don't, yeah, we don't hide no. nothing here. So no. 
I don't I don't think I think there's only been one point today where I was literally like Dan you, you can't have that little bit you film but apart from that when we're doing what we're doing on the shop floor Dan has freedom so we're not hiding anything here I'm not like no. make sure you tidy up the background no, really before not. you film Daniel yeah, it's real we want everything to be as real as possible and show you guys what it's like um what it's like at AMD Fields it's before we answer the next question I want to say high five Super Sheen for smacking us with a super oh, chat. That's Sir, amazing. I think you've just asked the question and we're most definitely going to answer it next. But I feel I'm still getting used to this interviewing people and chatting with people. I interrupted Dan there. Did you have one more point to add? No, no, it's fine. No, 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 it's absolutely fine. I was actually, the, we've, we've had a whole influx of questions there. Amazing. I want to yeah. make sure we try and get to them. Definitely. Excellent. So, because obviously Super Sheen has dropped us two of the finest UK dolls, pounds, things, we're going to ask his question there. Which is, can I ask? I have an idea to document Super Sheen literally from starting the business from nothing and seeing where it goes. Hells yeah. What do you think? What do you think? One hundred. That's exactly Incredible. what this is. Yeah. Like, guys, if I could have done this from day <laughs> yeah. one, I don't want to sit. This is going to be another live session where I sit and go, I've been out in the cold. <laughs> I've rolled up the fake mat. I've, I've been there. <laughs> mm. uh, I've done it. I'm not saying we've done everything, but I could tell you what AM details have done start to finish, and I will do it openly. I've been through images before. I found my old um, photo bucket. Is that even a thing now? Uh, no, there's a no, whole thing with that. Gone, so a whole, yeah. I'm going to have to That's go on there and download story. it. I found my old yeah. photo bucket once, reset the password, and looked through the images, and I will openly show you all of them. I think I did a first year live session once where I showed wow. you the unit yeah. and what it was like when we moved here. Oh, that's here. really cool. So Super Sheen, yeah. document everything. From a personal point of view, I am loving the fact, and this is going to sound so cheesy and try not to get too personal on the end because live chat, that me and Sarah can document Jacob every day. Like every yeah. day. If, yeah. if I, we go to our parents now and go, what was I like as a kid? They'll maybe have two Polaroids. Yeah, that's it. That's the difference <laughs> uh, you know, And it's like now, uh, you, Sarah's documented every day of what Jacob's up to. Mm. Like literally. And you see them cool, I don't know why I'm getting into personal stuff, but you see the cool time lapses where like mums picture themselves every Friday, you know, yeah, and you can yeah. see them get bigger and bigger and bigger. Anyway, so yes. To answer your question, Mr. Super Sheen, I personally 100%. would love to see you at mm. least vlog or just do a one minute video on your Facebook or Instagram every day of what you're doing. I would yeah. watch that. That is the sort of stuff I would like to yeah, watch rather cool. than you trying to create 20 minutes of hardcore, super slick footage with music over the top of it. I would much rather see what we do, but that's why I do it. I much prefer seeing the personal vlog style. Yeah, definitely. Dan's no, definitely. loving your questions. He's yeah. doing a bit of scrolling up. Here we um, go. Right, so you've got some good ones here. Um, a couple of technical ones, I think. Um, there's that one there. Uh, Tim, hi, yeah. Alan. Looking forward to possibly stocking AMD next year. Are you, Tim? This is incredible. Let's have a little look. Who is Tim? This is highly embarrassing. Oh, doesn't work. <laughs> oh, we can't click on here. But Tim, high five. Yes, get in contact with Hopefully us. We look really touch. forward. Yeah. Get in touch with us. Looking forward to possibly stocking AMD details early next year. That's that would nice. be That's incredible. Cool. Mm -hmm. and, and Tim, if we've had conversations already, I'm sorry I'm live. My brain is biscuits. This is empty of tea. I've tried to cut out coffee from my life. I'm not in a good place. It's not, it's not going very well. It's not going very well. Ella Artisan, hello, sir. How are you? We need to do a Skype chat again soon. Um, this is a fantastic gentleman who is also in uh, France. Yeah. So we already have a distributor in France. We have all Amazing. 44. Mm -hmm. And this fine gentleman is in France, but he is not French. If I remember correctly, he oh, is... Don't get this wrong. Oh, mate, he's something get this crazy wrong. like South African. <laughs> oh, okay, fantastic. And his fantastic. Good lady is French, and it's ah, an amazing brilliant. story. Brilliant. So they're not in the chat anymore because we're looking at chats way, way back. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Make sure you check them out. So it's great to have you here, sir. Thanks for hanging out We've with us. We've got a good question there. Where are we now? One. This, this yeah, one? So, uh, Hakam, how are you doing? Hi, Alan. I've got my own business. How much would you charge for Hoover interior plastics cleaned and dressed and washed and then some detailing spray? I get asked this question quite a lot of how much would you charge? And to do the technically kind of cheesy question, it's how much do you need? For example, here at AMD Tills, we've worked everyone out. Blah, 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 blah. How much do we need? And we currently work on 25 pounds an hour for what we class as phallet in services. So basically, if we don't pick up a machine polisher, mm -hmm. it's 25 pounds an hour. Mm -hmm. So if I'm gonna be an hour on that interior, it's 25 quid. Yeah, that seems, that's good. Yeah. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. But the nice our kind of rule we have here at AMD Tills is we won't do any interior work unless people are having protection detail carried out. So we're kind of guaranteeing our income right. of £160 a day by having a protection at least, and then we can bolt on interior work. And, and all, these, all these prices are on the website, aren't they? All the prices yeah. are on our website, and that's how I like to work yeah. in my business here, as in I like to say that we provide a product rather than provide a service. So we provide a product with the protection detail and bolt it on, but um, you know, I would be expecting to do an interior valet for roughly £40. I reckon you're about an hour and a half to do a really good interior valet, and then if you're going into an interior deep clean, 
you can be nearly 60 to 80 pounds. So mm. that's the kind of prices we charge here at AM Details, and we bolt that onto a service anyway. Have you had a little scroll through any more? Any yeah, there's a couple. You've got, uh, well, Nicola once again said how much fun she had, which is fantastic. JC49 um, has just come from Instagram. Yeah. Hello, sir. It's nice to see you here. Uh, Alan Moore, they are working. Nicola, fantastic. Uh, is the EZ wheel brush worth it, and why? Mm. Oh, oh, the EZ wheel brush is worth it 100 percent. i would say i like the ez big very good brush the ez small is a very good brush safe bristles uh, is twisted onto metal so just watch with the tip but my best brush is the go i have them down here somewhere daniel would just love to go and pick them oh, up yeah, the brush it. just down there Jeez, we're live people we're live uh, this one? yes that okay. one so my favorite of the brushes in the ez world is the ez go brush and the reason for that is it is a plastic shaft the whole way through and you can't bear any metal on the end. The negatives for you guys are though, that is the thickness it will go through. So if yeah. your caliper clearance is too small, this brush won't go through it. But I've yet to have a wheel, <laughs> just throw it at Daniel, that the EZ Big won't go through. Uh, this is super cool, I love this. Paul Hayes, I live in a few minutes away from both the NEC and the Rico. Oh, nice. Been to Wax Dog and last couple of years. Paul, amazing. I Obviously can't wait to catch it. up with you this year. Let's go all right down the bottom. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Where are we, good sir? If you scroll up a second. Oh, scrolling we're, up we're a little bit. We're missing one, we don't want to miss anyone. Apologies, Super Sheen. Can I ask uh, a question? Good idea. SFPDF sales might work. SSPDF, what's that? I'm not sure. Alan Moore, good idea. SSPDF sales might work. Let us know about that mm. conversation that's just happening above. Okay, so we're scrolling down. I think I'm just coming in now. So the last thing we should hear is Super Sheen saying thank you. But Tony has asked a question. Hi, Alan. Zool here. As you may have seen, I have a Land Rover now. Nice purchase, especially in this weather condition. Mm, uh, would you suggest any other protection for it if it's getting covered in mud? Maybe to make the mud come off easier. Uh, yeah, you could use some products that have less adhesion, and that is not always ceramics, and it's not always waxes. Just see what you can use out there, really. But um, making it stick less is easier, but then using good products to get it off. So I would just do a really good solid protection detail, Tony, and then carry on doing what you're probably already doing, this is a good citrus wash and then a good snow foam rinse before making contact. If on your Land Rover, which you're using for off-roading, you actually want to keep the paintwork in pristine condition, because I'm pretty sure that is have a fun car. So, you know, you're never going to have that swirl free. So no. just enjoy it. Enjoy it and make it easier Use to it. clean. Mm. And that's exactly my advice if mm. someone came through the door asking for a fully corrected <laughs> yeah. defender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Andrew Lewis, AB Details. Hi, guys. Alan AM Seal is pie hot. <laughs> <laughs> -ting. <laughs> -ting. Love it, this is amazing. Okay, super sheet. Thank you so much, guys. I'll definitely be giving that a go. Amazing. Pristine detail. Good evening, everybody. I hope we are all braving the cold. Yes, even Dan's been braving the cold. Yeah, hence the nice warm shirt I've got on. It's brutally cold up here. Yeah, in fact, it's about as cold as that video was filmed. Uh, I'm 99% yeah. sure the Tesla was filmed last year, around about this time of year. Uh, two years ago. Yeah, two years two ago. Two years ago. Just yeah. like that. See? Yeah. Rose. Ah. Forever. Right, okay, yeah. Here we go. So that's else is coming on. Uh, Hakan, Alan, I've got my own business. That's, How much uh, would you same, charge? Same oh yes, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, I am Nick, by the way, being as ah, I know super your name. Nick. Oh, super sheen. Nick, how are you doing? Amazing mm. to meet you, sir. Mm. Would you ever do 360 video? It's Daniel, a, I cool have idea. never even thought about it. I've seen a couple of people using them, and I've seen Nick Nimmin does some cool selfie stuff with 360. That just looks messed up. Like he did one. He, I think he stood up in the aisle in the plane and looked mm -hmm. directly at it, and everyone just looks like they're in a bowl. So like the whole what? aisle behind them is The question cool. I'll say, I've worked with 360 cameras on projects and I'm just wondering what would you like to see? Like because I I think it could work yeah, in this like, industry, but what would you actually what would for you me, like to 360 see? 360 is like the ultimate point of view, isn't it? So for example, you 360 is the yeah. stick it in a fighter jet, mm -hmm. you go do something yeah. and you can look behind, look ahead. So if I was to have 360 and stick it on the top of my head, that's not gonna be amazing. You're just gonna see The only thing that would be cool, actually, um, is if we stuck it to the roof of the unit. Oh, and then like upside yeah. down. We stuck it to the roof of the unit, upside down, you guys could see everything, which is what you see anyway, but at least you better see it all at once. Ah, there you go, see. That. So that's exactly what Daniel's just said. 360 in between the ramps, yeah. I that think cool. actually that could work. That would be very, very cool. We'll have a look at it. In yeah. fact, I'm pretty sure I know someone that has a 360 camera. Perfect. So Perfect. we'll give it a let's shot. Let's see if we can hang something off that false roof of mine. Yeah. See yeah. if we can get there. Yeah. Excellent question, my good man. Uh, Artisan, yes, my man, you are correct. Yeah. Oh, well yes. done. Did it go spot yes. on? Yes, <laughs> uh, I'm impressed. Order coming your way soon, Dennis. Oh, that's good. That's Simon. nice. Thank you very much, Simon. We always appreciate your custom. Mm -hmm. uh, so, P R I I C C E. See you at Autosport from the Pure Final Rinse and Juicy Details. Come say hi. Definitely, my man. I'll come and say hi. You're going to be there You're for the coffee, all though. the days. There's coffee uh, on tap. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not off the coffee. I'm just mm. yeah, reducing toning it down. Toning it down. Yeah. The coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, What's the next one. We'll Alan, Alan's asking <laughs> Alan, have you ever used any of the kamikaze powers? Yes. In fact, Kai sent quite a few here, and I got invited down to do the kamikaze professional detailer training course. But uh, as you guys may be aware, that happened late last year and it was in the window of Jacob being due being born so I couldn't make it down to Ultimate Finish so I was speaking to Jeff at Ultimate Finish this has been nothing to Dan but he's loving it look it's how fine. pretty he's it's looking fine. Nice <laughs> uh, I was speaking to Jeff at Ultimate Finish and apologised profusely and to Kai but sometime in 2018 I hope to make it down to Ultimate Finish meet Kai and do the course because I am this year uh, not dropping G Technic by no way is that happening G Technic have been great friends of AMD for so long but because I'm doing the training and other various things coming up through 2018, I just want to broaden the AM details knowledge. And I think the only way you can do that is by going on uh, people's training courses. So if I can go down and do Kai's training course, meet Kai, meet what he's about, you know, just meeting different people, like mm. meeting you, Dan, and talking yeah. about cameras, that you broaden your knowledge. So hopefully I will be doing that soon and then I'll be able to get my hands on more of the Kamikaze range. So hope that answers your question, Alan. Super Sheen. Ideas I think Alan Moore was on about. Oh, that's us asking what uh, SS were saying. Paul was explaining that SS meant Super Sheen, so he was referring oh, to... Um, so sorry, people were having Nikki, chat. As we know, is people uh, having chat. A Nick, sorry, not Nicky. Nick. Nick. Um, but yeah, so that's what that was about. I like uh, the word pristine. Uh, yes. Or is that how I say it? Pristine detail. Yeah, it might be. It might be how you say it. It might be the accent coming through uh, there. Oh, spot on, guys. <clears> thanks. Maybe 360 in between your eyes. Perfect. So, Ricky Snodgrass. Hello. I am a... Early learning developer. Yeah, e-learning. E-learning developer. <laughs> Early learning is good. I like that. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I like that. That's good. We need a timeout. Yeah. Okay. I'm an e-learning developer. I think some of your educational stuff you do may be amazing resources for people. Have you looked at doing anything like that? Of course, we yeah. we are. In mm. fact, we've been looking at the platforms of which we should potentially host that on. Do we do it ourselves? Do we use YouTube? Mm -hmm. Do we use other platforms? Are we going to do video? Are we going to do PDF? Are we going to do? We've looked at it all. I'm sure you guys will see with the vlogs the chaos that has been just managing this place and the new unit and the relationship that me and Dan have remotely plus our super rubbish internet speed. But once all that is sorted, then the project for 2018 is to start rolling out the proper educational stuff, which I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the style of Hi, I'm yeah. and this is how we do it. And it's not going to be this pristine plush teacher in front of a chalkboard thing, but it's just going to be like, this is how it goes down, this is how we do it here. And I would actually quite like to hear your opinions on how you do it so that we can get a conversation and debate going around learning so hopefully that's going to be cool uh richard thomas hughes how many polishing machines companies eg rupees flex is going to be at asi i, I, uh, I don't know i know what yeah. is mm. i'm not sure if flex go pass i don't remember seeing flex last year uh, you're mostly going to find a lot of companies so the two days that i go the media days one of the rooms is mostly like the people that are just looking for sponsorships. You're going to have Brembo there, you're going to have all your turbo manufacturers, your internal manufacturers, your engine parts, your race seats, mm -hmm. your harnesses, everything. Remember, it is auto sport. So it's all about racing drivers and race teams and other sports to do with automotive, meeting potential suppliers, sponsors, trade guys. And those two days, the trade days, are for all that to happen. Plus, media guys. If they are in, get to go and film all the live action stuff happening, mm -hmm. and they get to get their content from themselves and promote the event and promote everything. And in the two days that are open to public, I think all four are open to public. Yeah, they are. Yeah, just the two point, the are. two weekend yeah. days the are ones. then more all that kind of corporate stuff comes out. Yeah, lots of show cars go in, so Fueltopia gets some space. Yeah, uh, promote their event, and that's who I was helping out last year. And then the big core stay as they are. So the Formula One teams and all that sort of stuff stays there. Uh, all your fuel race people like Bags, he was with his fuel supplier, Sun. He was. Sun was in there. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. So he was there and his other car was on another stand. He had two cars. Yeah, he did, yeah. What yeah, a year he, he had last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's going to be um, super cool. So I hope that helps you out. I know repairs are going to be there. I don't know who else. But I also know usually when I'm there, like the pure final rinse guys are at least there, whether they're going to have a stand, but it sounds like they are going to have a stand this year on the juicy detail stand who are there. And then you also have Tim at Envy Ballot and he's pretty much there, hopefully will be. And generally you'll find the PVD guys walking around and then people like me. So if you recognize someone, the reason they're there guys is to meet you guys and to chat and have mm -hmm. a conversation. So don't be afraid about going, you know, ding, ding, yeah. hello. Yeah, exactly. Are yeah. you Dan for the yeah. YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying hello. Uh, saying hello to Dan. Mm -hmm. And then we're scrolling down and Ricky is saying amazing. Not heard that I one I think that's before. the early learning uh, Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> early learning <laughs> I am so, so sorry. So at the minute, there's 31 amazing people 
watching this live stream, guys. I think I it's hope been an hour. We have helped yeah. you in some way yeah. working out how this dynamic works mm -hmm. um, and inspired you to just go and grab your phone yeah. and put some stuff on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and just put your businesses out there and, and share and be part of the community and work together, guys, and creating content and collaborate. If any of you guys want to collaborate, if any of you guys want to stand where he is, and do a more structured Definitely. version yeah. of this. Yeah, this is very much uh, a test. It's been, then, it's been fun. I think it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. Then come and hang out with me here at AM Details, mm -hmm. or I can come to you and take this little camera because it's a super, super easy setup and come and hang out and generate content. If you're liking this sort of stuff, guys, then let us know in this comments here. Yeah. If you're live right now, if not, then in the comments down below this video, if you're watching this on a playback, that would be amazing because then we will make it happen. Let us know what YouTubers down here <laughs> you want to work with. Some of the comments that <laughs> just come in is brilliant. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oh, yeah. And Dan Bobbleheads. So yeah, I like that. I, uh, mm. I have a long road ahead of me, but thank you for Insight Candle Boost. Absolute pleasure. It's been really Not nice problem. to talk to you all and share a little bit of like what happens and how it made it all work. So It cool. has been super, super cool. So guys, roughly around about mm, the middle of your chat, you will find this little tiny circular AM Details logo. I would super, super, super love it if you can subscribe and then smash the bell so that you get a notification every time we do this and your phone goes, oh my God, the Alan Numpty with Dan just went live. I cannot miss oh. that because the two of them <laughs> are incredible when they go live. Guys, it has been a pleasure. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you very much, everyone. Day. See you later. Ciao. <laughs>